is uh, when you work with uh, any applications, you're looking for output result. And the World Machine provide um, very nice sections of the output. And we have a normal the height output. It's what by default you're using. We also have a, the mesh output. We have a, the bitmap output. And we also have an overlay view, which is actually not totally output, but it's help us to view how the, maybe our bitmap will overlay or texture overlay with current height. So let's go first in the height output. And right here, properties, you will notice we can specify a path where we want to save this. Currently, it does not give you any file, so it's need to be connected. In this case, we can go ahead and set. We can absolute path settings from file name. We can, um, when we build tile worlds, it can participate in this. We can also save every time it's built. So every time when I press green button, it will save it and override. Um, it is unchecked by default, and most time you maybe don't want override accidentally. So I recommend to keep it kind of check it off. We can output directly click and write right now this output file. We also have a different type of the files, and you can notice right here we have low precisions 8 bit, okay, TJ raw, and we have it higher precisions. It depends on your workflow or what you're using. Many times you will notice me using TFF 16 bit, so I'm just kind of familiar, but other ones will work as well. So it just depends what you're using. And of course, they have it even their own Terragen format if, you, if you're using Terragen applications as well. Okay, next, the height format, you can notice right here is input high field. And this is, will be a little bit different with input bed map. So for example, if I want to trace and I can connect to high, but notice I don't have no connection on bitmap. I have an overlay mesh output, but not on bitmap because bitmap is expecting the image input. To do this, we need to go to um, converter, select colorizer, which is expect the height field and output the bitmap. Then we can go connect to terrain, whatever output, and you can notice in colorizer, and we'll look a bit closer we assign color value to the height value from 0 to 1 and from this point right here you can notice we can now connect to the bitmap okay on a bitmap output we have it same we can specify output file where is location we can specify what type of the file we want output and also same things output on every build we can participate in tile and blend. So normally I leave it as default. The one thing this is helpful, and we'll probably use a bitmap quite a bit often when we work with the Vue, at least it's Vue workflow integration, and some maybe with Tarjan mostly to provide those flow uh, maps, image map for the flow, deposits, or other things. So we can use properly material placement after in uh, Vue when we start working with this or maybe working with ecosystem applied inside the view. Okay, mesh output, it's provide the object output. So how I said before, even world machine, it's very nice procedural creating with all high details. However, we limit it to output only to the image or to the OBG. So it will be fixed resolution right here. Um, and currently you can see we have a mesh regulation output this is very um, using using triangulations because not all application will use this. Vu, as example, use the triangulations for the uh, triangle type of the meshes for the terrain, so that will work very well with this. Or you have a simple mesh reduction. So again, right here we have a coordinates exporting with the world, or we can use kilometers or meters, and it depends what you're using inside the Vu. Uh, world machine units currently stat here to the meters, so we can modify this, or you can use to specific. If you export inside the view, you probably want to use it kilometers or meters. Again, always export at the origin. 
so you can check and um, by default I recommend leave it unchecked you can specify file format currently it's just only OBG and file name you can use it quads this is mostly if used with a Maya Max or other applications so currently it's you remember translations you can use quad export UV coordinates if any texture you want to apply it with UV and in some cases if you want to use it um, a map you probably want kind of normal maps you want to use UV coordinates for this allow um, common edge flip so go down output file on every build again if you think it's necessary you can have it and again output on every build if you work with uh, in a big uh, group with the developers teams and they effect maybe depend on when you build it so you want them receive always the latest build you maybe want to enable this and set on network so when they start working they're getting all this the latest build when you're done and participate in tile build again it's all enabled right to output to disk it's a proceed instantly the output okay overlay view you notice we have a two inputs okay let me look first it is high field and mix it input it's mean can be image or other ones so I can take and create different type of image and overlay over like my terrain so I can preview how it will go over and you'll notice in some case when we'll start creating like snow parks or other things we will use the overlay view to see how our snow parks will go over some terrains again as a properties we can look we have color where we can replace with a mask or blend colors with a mask and also ambient mask value of the surrounding for this again this is when we start working we'll look a little bit closer on this value right now it's almost like overview of the properties of the object we have it so let's go select them delete it okay so let's look one more time kind of a bit more details on our outputs this is majority what you will using to save information and you have several ways to output the one of course you can use it height output where you can specify what file you want to use it location in other ways and also if you're using like natural filters okay let's do this example we'll just delete this reconnect to the natural filter and you'll notice right here we have a floor map and other ones of course you can go inside the outputs and you can use it the high output as well for this so we can connect directly okay or you notice in some cases I'm using actual directly bitmap but when I'm using bitmap I also use it converters to convert colorized map the bulb will produce a same result on the end the bulb will produce um, image the difference is only because for me I work many times with a view as a workflow in many cases the flow or images produced does not have it enough maybe alpha or white and I like to add a little bit contrast so colorizer in this case can work for you as adjust a little bit more contrast to your scenery you can do of course with using just normal colorizer with normal contrast another one add to hype or add equalizer for this how you like it but this way it's kind of easier so for example right here a little bit dark I can add it and you can see I'll bring them a little bit higher those details so on this case when I work with view I can use it a little bit higher contrast so it's bring a little bit more details and this is colorizer would work provide a little bit more flexibility on what you output when you start mapping those as well you can create additional map colors but um, as a result with if you're using just unchanged result and a basic default with a um, preset you know as normal going you'll have it exactly the same output on the, your bitmap output if you select it okay or height web the one other things also notice the high 
field output provide a little bit more so obviously if you're using high precision or terrigen or other ones you probably want to use it high output but how say if using just um, as a chief height width or bitmap will work just fine um, one way or another so there's kind of small details on an output 